Hey everybody, this is the Frustrated Canadian and welcome back to our Cities Skylines Cardium County series. Um, this area looks kind of stupid, <laughs> um, but I think there is a way for me to fix it. Uh, just to start off though, I would just like to thank everybody for all of the love and support on the series so far. Um, I know it's been a couple of weeks since I have posted and um, I am sorry about that. I was on vacation. How does this work? Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Bridge? No. Ah, here we go. Um, yeah, I know it's been a couple weeks since I posted. And uh, I am sorry, truly sorry about that. Um, been a wild, wild time here for me. Um, I was on vacation for a bit. That works pretty well. Look, I don't want to have it like bridgy over this. Um, yeah, so it's been a pretty wild couple weeks, uh, vacation wise. Then I came back and work was totally, totally wild. Um, so just had to deal with that a bit. Uh, just kind of keep this the way it was. I think that was okay. Um, that works still. Yeah, so uh, sorry for the delay and all the posting. Um, I did promise originally. Well, I didn't promise, but I said I would try to get a few videos or one, one or two videos a week, a month. Two videos a month. Wow. I'm, okay. um, and I know I haven't been keeping up to that, so uh, that's my bad, and I'm sorry. And I do plan to keep her going here now that I'm back, and hopefully uh, we'll have a little bit more time moving forward here. Um, hopefully, work calms down and all that kind of stuff. And I, I came back and I'm like, holy crap, this area looks so awesome. Like, look at it. This area looks actually great. I mean, there's some problems here. And do I actually have any fire control over here? I don't. Yeah, I kind of just, I didn't even think about that. We'll just, we'll just toss in the fire hall because, in my opinion, we're probably going to need one. Uh, we'll probably have to add two fire halls, to be honest. Let's get one for both sides. Um, and we'll probably have a police, a police station in the area. And what might be good is if we actually had a, um, my, a recorder told me there was something wrong there, so I'm just taking a look. See here, um, everything looks okay. Let me check. I'll be back in a second. Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I don't know what happened there. It said my encoder was overloaded, but my CPU isn't struggling at all. My my software is working totally fine. So I don't know what happened there. I was looking at the recording. It didn't look half bad so i don't really know what happened um but yeah it's about to say like this area is looking pretty dang awesome we've got a lot of uh a lot of trains coming in importing goods we have a really nice intersection here i mean it kind of works i had to create a slip lane because these guys are really backing up from the industry and they i know they want to come export their goods um so i've just been trying to balance and we're also trying to import stuff but I haven't, I, I did, I, I, I kind of messed up my city by importing things, so I've turned them off just for the time being. Um, so yeah, I just want to thank everybody for the support on the channel. I know it's been a few weeks. I really appreciate y'all coming in and, and checking out the videos and just enjoying the content. Um, it really does mean a lot, especially for a small YouTuber like myself. I think I had like 378 subs at the time of this video. Uh, being recorded so that's that just blows my mind never thought i would even get past 50 so love you all and uh yeah so for the purpose i guess yeah and if you're liking the content like and subscribe please i know everyone says that but saying it too because it does mean a lot to me um my goal is 500 subs by the end of this year and i think i'm on on a pretty good track to hit that uh well i guess the overall goal is a thousand subs but I'm trying to do manageable goals, and 500 seems semi-manageable if I keep posting more lively, like, um, okay, sorry, now that I'm back into it, we're facing some population issues here, and this was my original industrial area, so we did de-zone a bunch of stuff, and we do have a little pollution still coming in here. Oh, I didn't really even realize I had a, a tram line that came straight through here, hold up. Oh, I was like... Oh yeah, we have a rapid bus route. I forgot we built that. I thought we we never actually populated our tram line. Oh shit. Wow. I guess it makes sense. It doesn't really go anywhere yet. I was like, why is this tram line hella useless? And yeah, 
it's very obvious why it's useless. And this is emptying out here. Uh, you're emptying out and you're emptying out. And this area, we're going to have like a little dust because we were a little, a little, ha, ah, wow, English is all, I think I was just faltering today. We're going to have a little industrial area right here and we're going to try to make sure that it's very good. And I know I, I have told you guys this is going to be a green city and this is going to be a green city. Don't mind the train district here and all this stuff. I, I will be focusing on transit at some point. And to prove a point, we have a lot of money. So why don't we try to get some, oh my God, why don't we try to get some good, green energy in this city, so let's get some geothermal. Um, I'm a geologist, so I'm all about geothermal here. I love it. I'm, I'm a big fan of this, this kind of stuff. These actually look pretty flipped and cool too, in my opinion. Um, yeah, they're just noisy, and I don't think they create much pollution, but this area here is going to be creating its own pollution, and we are, again, like I said, having a population issue. So we will need to figure out what we want with the population, and I'm betting you that I'm going to have we have a buffer zone coming around here and a buffer zone coming around this train line. So what we should do is create that buffer zone. Kind of gotta be like a do not live here buffer zone because trains are loud. Trains are exceptionally loud. And uh, we don't want to be deafening our citizens. So let's kind of go to here and we're gonna kind of just follow along it because I just want to create this awesome little buffer zone. Um, like so um, just so we don't kill our, our citizens uh, I just turn it like so and, uh, um, we're gonna do it on both sides obviously because again like as I as I literally just said I don't want to deafen everybody uh, like that Not gonna be perfect, but it'll be something. Also went to the zoo yesterday and saw so they have this thing in my in my zoo called a penguin walk. And they bring the penguins out outside for like a, a walk and it was adorable. Uh, it was great, I loved it. Uh, okay, let's see. So we need to get some population. Uh, how's our pollution looking in this spot here? That is my, okay, that is my true question because I would like to start zoning this area. Getting better, so what I could do is Start zoning in a couple people along here. Um, this is not going to be the most ideal area to live, and I know it. But, you know, I, it's, I don't know, like, you see in cities all the time, and I hate to say it, but you see in cities all the time where they, like, zone in the, the poor people near the old industrial sites. And we're kind of doing that, which is kind of a little bit cringe, but whatever. They die, they die. Just kidding, that's sad. Um, We'll figure it out. We'll play it by ear. Maybe we'll give them. We'll give them good stuff. Because uh, I'm not 100% sure where. I guess I could keep on zoning this way. Population sure is exciting, isn't it, folks? Um, is there anything else I could do in this that would be a little bit more interesting? Probably not. Like we've got a pretty, pretty well-grown city here, and I think today's progress is literally just going to be zoning. And I know this is going to be a little bit more boring of a video for people, and I don't care because we. We need population, so sit down, relax, and buckle up. We're we're zoning, we're zoning some citizens in. I like it. I want more citizens in my city, so you guys can suck it up. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Then I think we'll just kind of come off like this. I don't really want to make this too, because we're gonna start building up our downtown. You know what? Maybe what I should do is make this a better. Because we're going to have a downtown district, and this is a highway that kind of cuts through the middle of the city. Um, we need an exit that will allow them to come off. This is a pretty crappily designed exit, especially if we're going to have a huge population center coming in. Um, what I could do is start designing it, because this is going to be a downtown district here. And it's being fed by a traffic circle and two intersections. Hmm. What I could do is, shoot, I almost wish I could. I need to design a better interchange. Do I have any, do I have any decent downloaded ones? Like this is kind of like a, but this is kind of decent, I guess. I don't really love that though. I don't love this either. So many mods out there. Um, let's start downtown, let, let's start downtowning, let's start downloading our downtown. I don't want to pick you off. I actually want this to continue on because this is going to be our downtown district area here. 
Go into our, our tram. I do want to build that monorail along the coast. I think that would be sweet. So, okay, question, 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 question. Can we do a monorail to Metro monorail train? No. Monorail bus, no. Yeah, I don't think we can do that. Ferry bus exchange, airport. Uh, okay, so I wanted to get a tram hub in. So let's, let's you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna build a hub. Um, it's gonna go for it. So we will be going for, I'm just gonna turn you off for a sec, cause I don't need to do that. Monorail train, no. Monorail bus up, honestly. I think that is actually gonna slap. So which way do the monorails come out here? Um, I'm just gonna place it. Oh, it comes out through the middle, okay. It's now. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna upgrade, we're gonna delete this road right there. And I am going to take this monorail bus hub and we're gonna place it too close to the water. Okay, good to know. <laughs> good to know. Um, okay, let's come back to this guy. Close you, because I don't want that. And I'm gonna kind of go. And now it's gonna be kind of crappy. So we're not we're not gonna have any people living on the on the shore front here. Let's kind of like go as close to the water. Maybe uh, hmm. they're going this side. Nah, that's crazy. That's crazy talk right there. Let's kind of go like right. Here. I would say this is probably decent. I don't really need this road. Like I, I have ideas. I have plans, and I kind of feel like I know what I want. I need to do here. Okay, perfect. Now what we'll go is we'll go into our monorail. Uh, which one's that? Mon monorail. All right. Going to. I don't really know if I need this big of a road, so let's kind of like, let's bring it back down to like a normal sized road. It's kind of going along our, our shoreline here. And we're going to get a couple stops. Oh, there we go. Dude, the monorail, you don't need too many stops because they're going to, it's going to service a lot of areas. Um, we're going to have a stop right here. Um, these need to have roads on them, so I think that should be fine there, and you're fine. Okay, perfect. I really want to have this monorail come in through here, and we're going to have our tram. It's going to probably come through, and we'll have pathways. Or what I really could do is kind of what I had before, where we had our, um, our monorail kind of just skirting off to the right. We'll maybe just do that. Is this a road with it? Yeah, it is. We don't need that. And I want to have it come out like this. And we're going to have it swing in and come through here. I don't want it to be curved like that. I want it to be straight on right beside. Alright, so we're just going to do this. It's going to come just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a small little tr little circle here for it. Yeah, what I need to do is just make sure that this is going to be the right size. Um, okay, so we're going to go one, three by three, three by three, three by three, and three by three, just like that. That's going to be the end of the monorail line, because I think that will work. It's a nice small little spot here. You have a pedestrian path because I do believe I have a pedestrian mod. Yes, I do. I, of course, I do. I'm a genius. Um, and then we're gonna have this kind of come perpendicular wise. And this is gonna come. Let's do this. Uh, I don't like how that curves. Sir. No, oh, sir. -y. All right, let's just do this. And that's a little bit, yeah, that's much better of a curve. Perfect, okay, I like that. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna get our our, our highway, our downtown roads coming in here. I really do feel like I need to make a highway that comes off. This is gonna have to be redesigned because this is not gonna work properly, especially for what I need. Okay, what I'm gonna do, are these people getting sick? No, okay, good, that means we can zone in more of them. 
Not yet, so that's a positive. This is a very, this was a very polluted area. Ah, it's not polluted at all anymore. They're gonna be totally fine. A-okay. -okay. They're hardy people. Probably. Did I have anywhere else I had? Oh, I actually had already planned an area. Well, look at that. Well, you know what? Well, do you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna toss a nice little road right down the center of this. <laughs> Was that the plan? Probably the plan. You know what? Instead of just tossing it a, 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 a silly road, let's just, let's just do a curvy, a tipsy topsy road. We're gonna have it kind of come off in random spots, just like so. Uh, maybe we'll give it another entrance, just like that, that, and that. And does it have water connected? It does. All right. What about everything else? No health guy. There's no health guy in this area at all. Holy crap! I'm really letting these people live their their poorest lives over here. Holy smokes! What about you, schools? Holy crap! I didn't give them schools either. God oh, damn! I'm a maniac. <laughs> Uh, high school. That's a huge high school. Let's just toss me. Alright, perfect. Okay, now we can zone some citizens. Sorry about this. So this is kind of me just doing a little bit of an aside here because I didn't realize I was understaffed, under servicing my city to such a level. I want them to be an educated city and like happy, not uneducated and like unhappy. We're going for a minimum education of high school education. We want them all to be high school educated. I don't care if they go to university because there's plenty of work in trades, plenty of good paying jobs in trades. So like, why would I, why would I constrain these poor citizens to all being university educated folks? And I say this as university educated folk. We need more, we need more trades. Are people doing the stuff that most people think is dumb, but I think it's, Highly necessity, high high necessity for trades. Gotta love trades. Okay, perfect. All right, back to downtown, or back to whatever the hell's going on over here. We need to figure out how we want to do this. And I know this is a really curvy road, and I'm like, we need to have some going on. So what I'm gonna do instead of messing around with that right now, we will design this as it goes. Um, it's, it's gonna be. I, I keep on saying like, oh, it's gonna be a big downtown. Where we go? And I'm like, you know what? It ain't. It ain't gonna be a big downtown. It's gonna be a small baby downtown. All right, you guys definitely need power, though. So, like, oh, is it is that connected to power? No, oh, didn't think so. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay, I'm just gonna have to do that. I mean, the, the monorail is gonna be going through some funky shit there, but you know what? It's okay. They'll survive. We're getting some other funky stuff going on here too. Um, shit, can I just grab this please? <laughs> you bastard of a game, man. I just want to grab this small node. Can I just grab, there we go. I just wanted the small node and then we're gonna rebuild. They're gonna continue building the high with this through here. So what I'm going to do, now that we've got that, we're going to kind of have the monorail come like there. And we're going to build a station. Oh, sweet. Okay. I have it like right there. The reason I went back a little bit from the water is because I'm trying to be smart and allow my people to have like pathways and stuff, but all in all, all honestly, oh yeah, that's plenty of room for a pathway because I kind of I want a big waterfront pathway. This honestly might be a little too close, so we're gonna, we're gonna dial this back just a bit here. I like right there instead. Perfect. Alright, you can come out straight on. And, uh, okay. Take this. I will just kind of like bend it like that. You. Perfect. And it's gonna then we're going to switch it back into a road. Just like so. Just 
straight along the water line, just like that. And this monorail, honestly, I could probably build this monorail now. Where did, exactly does it end? It ends right there, and this is gonna be more of an industrial spot. What I'll do is I'll build my monorail station right here. Holy shit, this is a big building. Um, not to be right here. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fine. I don't actually mind that because what we'll do is we're gonna just do this. We're gonna upgrade this right here, and they'll turn right there. So it'll allow us to do that. Um, is this the landfill is empty now. Oh well, yeah, let's go. Sell it. Perfect, we're making progress and we are going to toss down some tram stops or so people can start actually taking the tram. I can figure out where those are, they're there. So I kind of want it to do, this is going to be the little loop to loop. Uh, no, I want it to be on the right side. Oh, oh no, we're going to start right here actually. No, actually not right beside, we're going to do it right there because then they're going to walk over. The stop. I have a great before this intersection. There. We're gonna do all these big intersections. There, it's gonna come right through. We'll do it right here. Right there. There. Okay, so I see the problem here. So what I'm gonna do actually is, since I've already done this before, we can just do this. That would come out. This units, and then we're gonna do a loop again. I wonder if I could do a smaller loop, but I don't really need to do a smaller loop. Three units. If it was bigger, I would need to do a smaller loop, but that's fine. Okay, perfect. So now we'll go back into that. You. I come back around and do the opposite side of the roads. I think this will work really well, but I guess we'll find out if people actually will like take this tram line. And boom and complete line. Perfect, okay. So that's good. And then I'm gonna want a little pathway. So what we'll do, take our pathways here. And we will go from, where is this lapis? It's like right there. And we'll just come right across and cross. And what we'll do here, like this, and we'll do this. That will allow people to cross over with ease. Perfect, I actually like that a lot. Um, I know it looks kind of silly the way I've designed this. And it is pretty silly, but Honestly, as long as it works, I'm kind of happy, and I guess we'll see people actually line up for it. People are lining up. People are, tra are getting ready to take the tram here, so. They don't need to go too far out of the way. There's some lights and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. We'll honestly see how this goes. This has kind of been a bit of a shit show of a video. Um, we're gonna have some bus lines coming into this. We have, our, we'll have monorail bus lanes. Um, yeah, I don't know, this is like literally going to be a nice hub in the center of the city. And so I'll basically take from the suburbs, I'll take the train into downtown, the monorail, and they'll hop on that monorail, either go this way, this way, or take buses. Yeah. And what I really think would be really cool is if we built a passenger train line to bring people into the city from other cities in this industrial area. So like we could put it like... Honestly, this would have been even cooler if I did this, like... Oh my god, I could have made this even better. Oh my god, why am I stupid? You know what? I have, an, I have another idea. Let me, let me, let me take a look-see at this building. Um, double monorail, double train. I kind of like that more than what I've done here. Um, I'm gonna need to consider, because this video is already, already getting a little long in the tooth. I may actually redesign this. As a normal, oh, you know, I don't even need to redesign this. I could just do this. <laughs> this is actually so easy. 
This will just be a monorail stop. Like, what am I thinking? I'm, I'm crazy. I'm a crazy man. What the hell? I'm a fool. I'm a fool, I say. I'm a fool. Alright. I just need to have a... You just go straight in here, man. Come on. No. Shit. Oh, it's because it's a road. Lol. Okay. Straight, please. Perfect. the Oh, wow. I'm actually so smart. Because... This is already a complicated-ass train spot. But I'm like, if I... I feel like I can make this work. In this video. Of all things. Like, I'm like, do I do it, like, right here? Like, have it kind of... Come straight off, like... And then do we have our... No, I feel like it, these... Let's think. These, this is already a pretty... It's not even that busy of a train intersection. I'm like, do we... I feel like having it perpendicular right here would actually be pretty smart. Like, if we just brought this back a little bit, take this, and we go off, what, like, X amount? Like, I feel like it needs to be a little further over here, near, right near the industrial area. So I think we'll have this come out. This. Feel. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't actually know how the best way to, to approach this is. Um. I think this is a really good idea. I know that for sure. Like having like think of all these train lines that are coming in and out. Will actually be a. A god brain idea right now. I'm thinking of, and I, and I know it's coming. I can feel the the juices flowing. And having this big of a hub for this small of a city seems stupid. But I'm like, it's actually pretty small. Do I come all the way here actually? Actually, yeah, that might be a big brain. I could even come like right here. Oh my god. Feels smart. It feels smart. Move you. It feels. This feels like a big brain player right now. If I am able to connect up these trains the way I think I'm going to be able to connect up these trains, I'm gonna retire from these skylines. That's the space already occupied. Is this not a train line? Oh, this is monorail. Ah. Oops. like this other train come out the other side can I move this yes please yes sir please and thank you do I even need this who knows let's we'll put it right here for now can I bring this train line straight off the back oh my god I can Now, if I could just bring it underneath this highway without breaking things, you know what? We'll break things a little bit here. And then I'm going to create... Holy crap, this is, this is actually genius. And then have, instead of having... And then we can have a line come straight off. Can we do that? Is that even legal? Is that a legal play? It is in my world. Oh my god. I'm so smart. I'm hilariously smart. Oh my god, this is hilarious. I'm in love with this. I'm actually like in shock with my idea. And then if we bring the monorail line. So like this will continue on as a road for a wee bit. Yeah, because we're going just down the coast, down the coastline. Like that. And then we're going to kind of have it come to there. And we're going to have you off like this. I'm, okay, we need to have these come off straight here. I don't necessarily need two. That, uh, that, and then this can just fold into it. And we can have these continue on. Or maybe this one will continue on this way. That. Then we'll have this. Uh, maybe we'll come back a little. 
going straight to here. And this guy will have you come like that and like that. Then that will connect up there. And then we'll have the other monorail line be similar to the other one did and connect up like that. Oh, like a little monorail station right here. Does this connect to buses as well? Actually, one thing I did not check. Um, metro, monorail, oh, metro, subway, okay. Interesting. We're still gonna have this guy here doing its thing. Perfect, what if so many monorails? What do you do with these things, holy crap. We don't have very many people taking it yet. That's because we haven't really built the, built this out yet, but. <clears throat> Once this is actually functioning, this is going to be a highly awesome area. Let's actually connect the train lines up. So we'll get some population coming from this side. Yeah. So they'll come off here. And then they'll either pick if they're going straight through, going onto this. Yep. And for the other way. So this one actually isn't connecting up. Oh, there's so many ways the trains can come into my city. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, we'll service as much as we can. We'll see how we can get that to work. Uh, I should end the video here, though, because it's getting a little long in the tooth. Um, but this is looking pretty sweet. I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is your boy, the Frustrated Canadian. I will catch you all in the next one. Cheers, everybody.